future of the world Behind the trusting eyes of my little girl A future filled with hope for the coming year Behind a small brow furrowed in fear Of the future and troubled eyes Welcome to another episode of Humanity Matters. Tonight's episode is called The Fight is On, and it's about cancer tonight and fighting it and helping prevent it, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that after we introduce our host for tonight's show, Albert Turcaso, and here he is. And of course, we have a wonderful guest today, Pastor Beverly Gordon. She's going to bring the religious end of it, uh, the you know, God, end of it. And uh, let me just say that God loves everybody, including atheists. And if you are non-religious, if, non uh, if you're an atheist, you need to hang in here. But, uh, you know, I got to get a little old school Albert going on. Now, all of you know I have Sicilian descent. You know that, you might know that I like watching boxing. I even filmed a few amateur and professional fights with my main man, Luther Dupree Jr., hanging out on the video camera tonight. But uh, I got to do it my way, so I'm going to do it my way. Now, now listen, everybody. I got a job for you tonight, and it's a tough one. And I mean it's so tough, you might start crying. You need to record this show, number one. And that's just the beginning. You need to get your paper. You need to get your pen. You need to get your smartphone, your dumb phone, your tablet. I don't care what it is. Because tonight, your life is going to change. Oh, it sounds like a carnival barker. It might sound like a, one of those infomercials. But tonight, we're changing your life. That's right. So you're not, you might as well just come on down like good old Bob Barker. Because trust me, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, we're going to change your life. We're going to take cancer, and we're going to knock it out. Because ladies and gentlemen, the fight is on. Now with all that, you might say to yourself, this guy's a joke. I ain't no joke. I might joke around. I might have an interesting looking face. You never know. But you don't want to mess with this. Why? Because tonight we're going to change lives. And Pastor Gordon and Annette, we're just going to, we're going to change your life tonight. And instead of saying that, it's called don't say it start to play it. So we're going to be champions like the Pittsburgh Steelers used to be. And we're going to be champions like the Pittsburgh Steelers will be again within the next three years. Now, let me just say a little something, something before I get into the French fries, the hot dogs, and the spinach. The Pittsburgh Steelers are 0-4 on October the 1st when we record this show. And I'm not backing down. I say they're still going to get in the playoffs, and the odds are great. They probably have like 10% or less Luther volunteered that information. But I'm not backing down on my Steelers now. Now, right now, Steelers, you're in need of some motivation and some skills that I have to go with. But at any rate, Steelers, you'll be all right. You'll get in the playoffs. And if you don't get in the playoffs this year, you'll get in the playoffs and kick some brass. I said brass. I did not cuss. I won't do that. But next year, you're going to kick some brass. Now, with regards to the Pirates, today, for the first time in 20 years, they are in the playoffs. It might be 21 years. It's, a, it's been at least 20. They're in the playoffs. So Pirates win the game. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you hate baseball or love it, but today, we all want to pray that the Pirates win the game. Why? Because it will help their mentality and they'll be a better team, even better this next year than they were this year. So let's take care of the business. Let's take care of our teams. More importantly, let's take care of our family. Let's take care of our friends. And you know what else? Let's take care of humanity. And one last thing I want to throw out some current events. There's a big rubber ducky in the rivers of Pittsburgh. And when I first saw this on TV and the big fuss they was doing, I thought, Somebody must be smoking something. Mm -hmm. But now I found out what the meaning behind the rubber ducky is, and it's about we need to take care of each other around the globe. 
and that all the bodies of water eventually come together no matter what nation you're in. That's true. And that's what it's about. It's actually about humanity. So it fits right in with humanity matters. So how do you know about, what do you know about that? Now we got some calls. We're going to have to wait a while, but we will get your calls. Now, I said I was going to change your life today. That's not something people can just say because that's something that's hard to do. So I said I was going to change your life, but I'm also going to tell you it's going to be tough. You're going to want to throw tomatoes or something at this TV at times, but we're going to leave you by the end of the night saying, you know, I can do this. And everything we're going to tell you, there's at least something you can do. It doesn't matter how much money you have, how much money you don't have, how much weight you may have, how much weight you don't have. And we ain't talking about losing weight because we don't like who you are as you are. We might mention about weight in the context that we want you to be healthy and live longer than maybe even your life expectancy is at this time. So when I talk about I'm going to lose weight, it ain't because I don't like who I am. It's because I want to be around to help other people. So that's what it's all about. Now, Mr. Motormouth, Mr. Motormouth, yeah, that was a little flub. Hey, that's the way it is. Mr. Motormouth is in the house. But now we're going to turn it over to Annette. And she's going to tell you about some, before we do, she's going to talk to you about some foods that can possibly prevent cancer. And we're going to focus on defeating cancer on this episode. But I got a little secret to tell you. I'm going to throw in something that's not just going to hopefully get rid of cancer. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm give, giving you more than that, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. So you're just going to have to tune in. So if you don't tune in, you're going to not be able to change your life. And if you don't tune in, I might have to get my old Sicilian face on and cut you out off camera. <laughs> I won't do that. But at any rate, we're going to start, start, start changing lives. And guess what? Before we go, I have some sad news to report. Speaking of cancer, a family member and friend and other friends that know this young lady, Rachel Friend. Rachel Friend was an advocate for people with mental illness and other physical disabilities. She passed away recently from cancer. So this fight is very personal to me. And we are going to reverse what seems impossible. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, you'll find out. But before we do that, I want to have some praise and words. I'm going to defer from Annette for one minute. I want to hear from Pastor Gordon, who just happens to be not only a child of God and a pastor, but she knows a lot about nutrition. Well, how did you know? How, what do you know about that? I wanted to say, how did you know or something, but... <laughs> The point is, I made mistakes. I'm only a werewolf. Hey, I can make mistakes. But she knows about food and nutrition, and she's about to get a certification. So without further ado, we're going to have the pastor come on, then we're going to get Annette to, to give you what we need to give you, and we're going to get that call. But first, pastor, you are on. <laughs> well, as always, we give praise and honor to Father Yahweh, because if he did not bless us, we could not be here. And we That's thank true. him that even in the word he has given us, various principles to show us uh, what we need to do for the healing of our body. And, you know, we know that even in the very beginning, there was no sickness. And yet as man sinned and continued to sin, more and more diseases come into the world. So we want to look at, uh, sometimes we have to look at our scripture and truly see what Father Yahweh is saying to us. He gave us the green herbs that he wants us to eat. And even as uh, I know that you are mentioning some things that you don't like, <laughs> but yeah. if we train I don't up, like the herbs. I, I'll tell you that. But, but if we train up our children and when they're young to eat the foods that Father Yahweh has given, then we would be able to have healthy lives. And yet, as He shows us in His Word that if we obey His commandments, His statutes, His ordinances, and His precepts, and the commandments that He has given to us, then we will have healthy bodies because we'll know what to do, we'll know when to do it, we'll know how to do it, and there are many things that we need to do, including getting our rest and eating properly. Well, so. 
I will say before we go to Annette, I am the poster child for the worst type of eating. All right. Okay, that yeah. there is. And as a matter of fact, I I have a lot of energy as you can see right now. Mm -hmm. and, I, mm -hmm. and you probably thought I might have slept for five, 10, 15 hours because mm -hmm. of the energy I got. Actually, I only slept for about four hours, so I'll be right. getting a call from my sister yelling at me. That would be Diane calling in. Don't do it, Diane. But uh, I'm about to get the kind of you energy, and we will get that call in one second. I'm about to get the kind of energy but if you don't, that is unlimited. So let's go ahead and get this call, then we're going to get to Annette, and then we're going to start saving lives. Right. So caller number one. Caller going once. Going twice. Caller, are you there? Yes, I am, Al, and it's so happy to see you and Annette and Pastor Gordon and knowing that Luther is on the camera right. and I'm here with my family at PCTV Channel 21. All right. Hallelujah. I want to say to you, Al, that this is a hard subject and you do have the right person there with you and Annette today, our Pastor Gordon, who works so hard at showing us how we should eat instead of worrying about what we have, but how we can turn around and make our life more livable and longer. So I want to thank you for inviting Pastor Gordon down today, and I, especially on a day that we are celebrating out at PNC Park, right. because people are probably having problems, but it's a day of celebration. And I think anything positive like you're doing today makes the body more healthier. And I just want to thank you for uh, having this show on to tonight, hon. And I'll uh, hang up and listen to you well, don't and hang up yet. and the don't pastor. Hang up yet. Don't hang up yet. Don't hang up yet. Okay, now, I'll hold on then. Um, you were a surgical technician for a couple of years. Yes. And so you saw a lot of the medical end of what happened to people mm -hmm. that needed operations because they didn't keep yourself healthy. So I'm going to tell you about, Annette's going to actually talk about some foods we can eat. Pastor Gordon can talk about those greens. <laughs> I cringe every time I hear about those, green, those greens, but we won't, <laughs> we won't go there. But um, so you've seen some things. Would you say that you've seen a lot of operations due to poor health? Well, I've seen operations that we had to do because of people not eating properly. That's right. I never paid attention to uh, the food that I ate. It's just what was put in front of my plate. You ate it, and my mother's favorite word saying, you will eat it before it eats you. And if you <laughs> didn't eat your, all your food, it would be put in the refrigerator for later. Oh, no. So we were healthy people and end up being obese people because we were eating a lot of food that made for obesity when we grew up because that's the food you ate because that's what you had and we were not the wealthy people that could pick you right. know the best foods in the world but we ate and we managed to survive and as i got older and became a surgical tech I found myself eating in the cafeteria of Allegheny and Children's Hospital in Montefiore because the food was the correct food to put in my body. Mm -hmm. So I am thankful for uh, the hospitals and Mercy and that that had the food and the lettuce and the vegetables and the raw vegetables mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. to eat. And I think that's why I'm 71 today because yeah, I go. ate oh, at yeah. these different hospitals that had nourishment food for my body. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And guess what? Apparently, we have another call. So we're okay. going to go ahead, and I'll talk to you. Hopefully, sometime you can give me a call, Nora. Okay. And get back behind the stage here instead of yes, over there. Yes, thank you. See and you thank later. all the doctors who work night and day to help us on these terrible diseases. That's yeah, but right. we're going to work on getting rid of some of these diseases. But I hear right. you. Okay. Bye, hon. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, it looks like Pastor Gordon has the next call. Hello. Hello. Oops. Greetings. Go. Diane's in the house. Hi, uh, I, I, pa Pastor Gordon. My name is Diane. I am his sister, one of his sisters. He has another sister named Rose. Well, how Let's are you? Let's go Bucks. <laughs> well, many blessings to you. I'm glad but you I called in. Uh, can, you, uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Because my brother didn't do his job yet. Well, no, she didn't. I want to know about you. No, uh, you. <laughs> and I said you got Laura back as a friend. I don't know what you did, Ooh. but 
tell tell me a little bit about you before he hangs me up because he's gonna hang me up and I say, let's go Bucks, let's go Bucks, let's go <laughs> okay, Bucks. Enough with the bucks okay, enough for the Bucks. Okay, forget about it, tonight. Eric. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Come on. Well, um, oh, I say man. greetings to you. Thank you for calling. I'm Pastor Beverly Gordon of the Congregation oh, of Yahweh, 342 Sylvania Avenue in the Bell Super area. Been there for like 26 years. Been at TCTV for 22 years. Have two children. I worked in Pittsburgh Public Schools and I have enjoyed my life. I've done, I've done quite a few things and working with different people, working with uh, babies all the way up to the seniors. So. I thank Father Yahweh for being able to have my health and strength. I think all of us at some point in time have something that causes a little illness in our bodies, but then when we get ourselves together, then we are fine. So uh, I thank um, those who call in and those who are really interested in getting their health back together because we don't need to be a sick nation. No, we don't. And uh, so as we eat properly and as we rest, and do all the other things that we need to do, then we can get better and better and better. Okay, <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I agree with you on that. Now, here's what we're going to do, Annette. I want you to basically start telling the arts. Now, you, you didn't start with page one. I don't get it, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, go for it. Uh, start telling them about the foods that actually can reverse cancer. And we'll get in as much as we can, but ladies and gentlemen, you will be having to go to some websites. Well, I was going to start with strawberries. Mm -hmm. They're rich in antioxidants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And berries scoop up disease-fighting honors like kids in sports collect trophies. They just keep multiplying. Research points to possible protection against heart disease and memory decline as well as cancer. In a recent study, berry extracts slowed the growth of cancer cells. Specifically, strawberry and black raspberry extracts had the greatest impact on colon cancer cells. Eating fruit, including berries, probably decreases the risk of lung cancer and could prevent cancers of the mouth, esophagus, and stomach, according to a review of hundreds of clinical studies conducted for the World Cancer Research Fund and the American Institute for Cancer Research. Right, can you go to the first page and, and, and see what's on there? Because I want you to give the source websites of the information that you have just given. Okay, the first one, well, I just have one website here. Well, that's it's okay. http dot dot slash slash www dot webmd dot com Actually, instead of, if that's from WebMD, you can actually go to WebMD and look up cancer or, or the, um, superfoods. Now, can you tell us some other superfoods such as garlic, how that relates to everything? We want to get the list of the, all the foods, foods, not fruits, I don't know what I just said, <laughs> foods. So can you start with the garlic and a little bit, tell us a little bit about that because we're running out of daylight, I mean nighttime. To get the most benefit, peel and chop the cloves and let them sit 15 to 20 minutes before cooking. So you're talking about garlic, right? Garlic, yes. All right. That activates enzymes and releases the sulfur-containing compounds that have the most protective effect, says Doyle. And stick with the cloves, not the dietary supplement. There is no solid evidence that dietary supplements are going to reduce your cancer risk. So in, the, in other words, they say apply fresh garlic to your food. Can yes. you tell us some of the other uh, foods, please? Yes, cabbage, kale, and cauliflower okay. tomatoes are potential weapons against prostate cancer. In laboratory tests, lysopene has stopped other types of cancer cells from growing, including breast, lung, and endometrial in the lining of the uterus. Researchers speculate that lysopene protects cells from damage that could lead to cancer by boosting the immune system. And they suspect lysopene stops the growth of tumors by interfering with abnormal cell growth, according to the American Institute for Cancer Research. And about carrots, and then you have carrots and spinach, and just hit them all. You don't have to read all the background about it if you don't have time, but. Hit the ones that, you know, want to throw the carrots in there. And okay, all that carrots stuff. are packed with disease-fighting nutrients. They contain beta-carotene, mm -hmm. an antioxidant 
that scientists believe may protect cell membranes from toxin damage and slow the growth of cancer cells. And carrots deliver other vitamins and phytochemicals that might guard against cancers of the mouth, esophagus, and stomach. And some studies suggest carrots protect against cervical cancer, perhaps because they supply antioxidants that could battle HPV, um, the major cause of cervical cancer. Plus, carrots contain falcarinol, a natural <coughs> pesticide. Okay, what yeah. about artichokes? It says learn to eat artichokes tonight. And, and, and you want to just list the names of the foods because we need people to write that down at Spinach. home. Spinach. We can talk about the Spinach. story behind the story afterward, but we want to get the, the actual foods out. Just tell us the, all the food, please. That's very important for okay, the Okay, artichokes. Artichokes. Blueberries. Blueberries. Blueberries, very good for you. Sauerkraut. Yes, I sauerkraut. I didn't want to hear that one. Scallions. <laughs> Kiwi. Mm -hmm. Okay, and those are just some of the foods. That's a very small number of foods that prevent cancer. There's, there's a lot out there that if you research it and read about it and look into it, you can find foods that prevent cancer and help fight cancer. Well, I want to have uh, Dr. Um, doctor, I just became, I you doctor. just became a doctor. I am. <laughs> Pastor Beverly Gordon, hey, Dr. Pastor, hey, you just became a doctor. I didn't know that. The doctor's in the house. I always <laughs> anyway, that. Pastor Gordon, I want you to mm -hmm. talk about your experience with these foods, and then I'm going to throw down what I'm going to kind of bring in some things about these foods because I know there are people at home probably thinking, I'm going to eat that stuff. And <laughs> stuff may not be the words they're thinking either. We those won't go foods, there. those greeneries. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about that sauerkraut, and I'm like, I'll see you, I'll see you next month. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, go ahead. Well, one, one, one thing that happens is, you know, if we, if we train up our children a, as young people to eat their green foods, they are and will be healthy people. And one thing that happens is that, you know, the green foods, uh, collard greens, kale, turnips, you know, even when I've had my garden, I put planted uh, turnip greens, so I ate the root and the leaf. And uh, all those green vegetables. and they do have many, uh, they have iron in them, they have, some of them have uh, vitamin C, and we need all those things. Um, and when the vegetables that we can eat raw, because what I'm finding is that so many people are cooking their food till there's no substance in it. And if they that's don't true. drink the broth, because sometimes that's where your vitamins are, but if they drink the broth, then you'll find that they're healthier because they've drunk the uh, broth that came off of the vegetables. And um, like things like avocados are good for you because that's, you know, a lot of times people are eating a lot of fat, but your avocados mm -hmm. would give you your uh, foods that is, is a food that gives you a natural fat and it's good for you. Um, when you uh, eat like the beets, the beets are good for you. Things, uh, the different colors of foods. You have your red peppers, your green peppers, your yellow peppers, and your orange peppers, and they have a lot of vitamin C in it for you. And so if you're eating those things, then it's gonna make you much healthier than you would be without eating them, mm -hmm. you know? And a lot of times when uh, people are talking about their health, uh, a little exercise along with some very good rest, sometimes people are eating things that we're not supposed to eat. And so if they're eating things that we're not supposed I'll to eat, I mean everything we're then not their supposed bodies to eat. get toxic. <laughs> and they're, because their bodies get toxic, then until they uh, go in and uh, get something that cleanses their blood, then they just become very, very sick. And to the point, most uh, many people end up in a hospital. And you don't want to go to the hospital. Uh, well, you go to the hospital because you are sick. Right. But you shouldn't have to go if you eat right <laughs> and well, rest right. Mm -hmm. Now, Annette and <coughs> Pastor Gordon and my good friend Luther, you remember how in the beginning of the show I said I got some surprises coming up? <laughs> well, here's the thing. I'm Albert Tercasso, and I have the worst diet you can imagine. 
So tell me what you eat. Oh, hold on, man. Well, I don't go that far now. <laughs> It'd be scary if I told you what I eat. But the great news is everybody out there is probably talking about, Pastor Gordon, you're already preaching to the choir. I'm not going to be eating all these vegetables and stuff. I mean, I know they're good for me, but they don't have any taste. I don't like them. I get sick when I eat them. Whatever the excuses. Here's what I'm going to give you, everybody. Remember how I said I was going to change your life today? You're not impressed yet. That's okay. The beautiful thing is, you notice how I was very pushy with the net saying, tell us these foods. I was like, almost like a mobster. Tell us these foods. <laughs> okay, there's a reason for that. If you look at the list of those foods, every one of us has something on there that we either like to eat, would be willing to eat, or can tolerate eating. Every one of us. Like, I'm not thrilled with uh, sauerkraut, it's not going to happen probably. But I can deal with spinach leaves. I can deal with carrots. I like them raw. When they come cooked, I'm like, hey, I don't know. It's kind of a forget about it. But the thing is, I like the berries. I eat bananas. They didn't have bananas on there. But here's the beautiful thing. Every one of these foods, somebody likes. If you will take and eat one of these foods. And I'm not going to tell you to change your life today because realistically, I can't say you start eating these foods today because I know it's not going to happen. But if I say to you, I challenge you to eat a couple of berries once mm -hmm. a week. Mm -hmm. I challenge you to go to one of these new, really low discount stores. Get yourself some baby spinach. Throw that on there. I challenge you, grab some spin. I mean, not spinach, but uh, garlic. Hey, they have mouthwash, so don't worry about the breath part. <laughs> the point is, you can do this. More importantly, maybe you're thinking, well, he talked about me losing weight. He can go <clears throat> himself. Let me tell you something. You need to lose the weight. Why do you need to lose the weight? Not because I don't like, like the way you look. Hey. I do, but I want you not to have heart disease. Right. I want you not to have <laughs> diabetes. I want you not to die from a heart attack or a stroke or get Alzheimer's or, or, or um, Parkinson's, you name it. So yeah, I'm going to get up all in your face like a boxer would, and I'm going to tell you that I want you to change. now. You're probably like, hey, I got three fingers pointed at you. Go ahead, point. You see this little old thing? This is where Luther's going to come into play. This is a book. You know what this is? It's called the Calorie King Calorie Fat Carbro. Carbro? Carbro? I can't say it that Carbo right. Hydrate. Carbohydrates. Yes. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates. <laughs> Counter. And it even tells you sodium, alcohol, calories, and content. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, this book I got because I just recently started a nutritional program with a local hospital, which will remain nameless, except that it has four letters, but it will remain nameless. Um, and I'm in the process of working to change the way I eat. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's great. But with regards to weight, I don't really care if you're 100 pounds, 200 pounds, well, don't be 100, that's, that's too little, but 200, 300, 400, 500, if it's not going to affect you health-wise, hey, or 500 even, if that's okay, or that's close to your ideal weight, or it's not going to kill you, that's fine. But when I say eat healthier, it is my business, because I care about you. This is Humanity Matters. I care about you. So it's my business. I'm not going to listen to you if you tell me to shut the blank up. I want you to change. Now, it ain't going to be easy, but you can handle a few pieces of spinach, some sauerkraut, some berries, or whatever. Now, the thing about it is you still might be like, oh, man, I just can't do it. I don't like this stuff. It's nasty, whatever it is. Well, guess what? You remember how I told you I had a little something-something for you? Well. First of all, there are books like The Calorie King 
that you can get to count calories, find out what's in it, what you should eat. And you can actually reduce and change the amount of the bad stuff you're eating. It doesn't have to be all at once. So this is about changing your life. And you have to ask yourself, I'm going to get real tough now. I'm going to be very blunt with you. Why should you do this? Why shouldn't you be turning this stage? Apparently you already have because we only had two calls, which I ain't pleased about. But at any rate, why should you do this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you have family members that love you. Maybe you have something that you want to change in your life. Maybe there's some, you want to start a new business. Maybe you want to go to school. Maybe you want to help other people. Maybe you have children that want you around. That's why you should do it. But you know what? It's, it's all well and good to tell you that I'm doing this thing. It's all well and good to tell you, oh, you can do this. But it's still not giving you all the weapons that you need. I'm still leaving you hanging. I only told you some of it. Well, I got my weapons, other known, otherwise known as tools. Guess what? There's a doctor. And guess what? This is going to sound like advertisement, but it isn't. Because guess what? This is from a non-profit entity called WQED, located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in the North American continent, in the United States, in the Commonwealth state of Pennsylvania, called, in the city is called Pittsburgh. And they had a guest that had done two shows in the last six years. And it's Dr. Joel Furman. When you get a chance, get on your smartphone, get on your tablet, your iPhone, whatever, your internet. I mean, get to the internet and look up Dr. Joel Furman. Now, back to the matter is, changing the way you eat is going to be hard, even if you do it one little bit at a time. But here's some exciting news for you. Dr. Joel Furman has a couple of programs that if you become a donor of WQED, nonprofit, if you become a donor of WQED, you can get a couple of his programs. He not only teaches you what to eat, he provides you with support, community support, what have you, but he also <coughs> teaches you how to make it tasty, and there are thousands of recipes available for you. So not only can you start to change your diet, but as a result of getting this program, if you can afford it, hey, if you can't, try to see if you can get it in the library. But the thing is, for the donation, it still costs money. It's still money out your pocket, even if it's a nonprofit, right? See if you can get it at the library or check it out on the internet. But get the information because what he's going to provide to you, and also Dr. Oz gives you similar information at times, but not like Dr. Joel Furman. What this is going to do for you, it's going to reduce your chance at cancer. But I'm still not giving you the truth behind the madness. I'm hiding something from you. So I'm about to reveal something. So listen up very good, very well. Dr. Furman, you need to go to that website. It's Dr. Furman, F H, um, excuse me, F U H R M A N dot com. Learn about his programs. Save up the money. Donate the QED. Go to the library. Get it free. It's not advertisement because you might be able to get it free. But get the information because he's going to provide you with a whole community of support, exactly what you need to eat, what you can do if you don't like these foods, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to change your life. Okay, so you got to do it. But now you're probably thinking, well, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to exercise because I can't because I'm physically disabled. That may be true. You may not be able to exercise, even if you eat all these foods. But even if you don't exercise, here's the great news. You could still get healthier. Now, I'm going to tell you something about Dr. Furman. He has success stories. And he had people who have had heart attacks, who were supposed to be dead, in a casket, cremated, you name it. And guess what? They're not dead. 
He had a guy who had a heart attack at 70 years old, excuse me, 72. Guy's 90 years old and he's chopping wood. He reversed his heart disease. You know what else he did? Because he started eating healthier, he got off a bunch of medicines. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> getting off medicines. Well, I have something to say. Well, I'm glad you have something to say, so go ahead and say it. And if, if people don't call, I'm going to start screaming, bloody Sicilian. I'm kidding. 412-231-2288. Huh. And we're going to get the pastor to verify some of these things. But uh, go ahead, Annette, what do you have to say? Well, I, I'm sure that um, our audience agrees that eating healthier benefits our health, and we want to be healthy. But it, it takes money to get these foods, and a lot of us aren't wealthy, and that's the problem. I mean, in order to eat healthy, you have to have the money to buy these foods and to go on these diets. That's, that's why I'm having a difficult time eating healthier because my fundings are limited and um, it just it takes money to maintain your health. Well, let me ask you a question, Annette. What? Have you ever been to a fast food restaurant in the last six months? Yes. Have you spent more than $8 in those restaurants? Yes. Have you out there? Well, do you know, I'm, you're going to put something out like that, I got to challenge you. You know, she said something, she's right, but she's wrong. Because here's the thing, it's our mentality. We don't think we can afford that. If you spent that same $8 at one of these low discount stores, you can get yourself some bananas, you can get yourself some spinach leaves, you can get yourself some berries, and guess what? You can change your life. So guess what? That's we have true. the money. So here's what I would say to her. She has a good point. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? A lot of that. Well, we were in the, the store case. last night, and you saw the berries were four ninety eight, and but you exactly. said that they were expensive. Well, hold on a minute now. Hold the phone. I did. <laughs> hold the phone. She just cut me at the knees, ladies and gentlemen. And Luther Dupree Jr. is laughing at me. No, you ain't gonna laugh at me. Yes, you are. Okay, she's right. It was expensive. <laughs> in my opinion, for the amount that it was. However, I did not say to get it at that big box store that we all know, but we ain't gonna say. Happens to have a W in it, but hey, forget about it. Um, I said the low discount stores, and you can get berries, that's expensive. But even that, you could even start with a, as little as a banana. So you can do it. I know she's right about the money, but we have got the mentality that we can't afford to get healthy. I even have it still sometimes, but that's wrong. Mm -hmm. We can go to the store, we can go, especially these low, new discount stores. I ain't gonna say what they are. We all know what they are, can't say it. You go there, it isn't gonna be $5. And even if it is, you can get a smaller amount. So just start thinking mentally different. Now, what are you gonna get if you do what I'm asking you to do? First of all, 412. 231-2288. Give me a call. I don't want to get canceled in January. Anyway, here's the thing. Here's what you're going to get. <coughs> Legally and medically, we cannot say, nobody can officially, that you will re reduce your heart disease. Right. You cannot say you will avoid cancer, but let me tell you what you're going to get. You're going to get healthier, and you are going to reduce the risk. Can't say you're going to reduce it. The risk. That was, is what you're going to get. But I'll tell you something else that's going to happen to you. You get on the Dr. Furman regimen, and it's not a diet, by the way. It's not. But if you get on Dr. Furman or Dr. Oz or Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, <laughs> we're going to get that call in the New York half second. I promise you, it won't be more than a minute. If it is, I'll slap myself, and it will hurt. You get on these regiments and learn how to cook things that you like and eat things that you like or raw food, you're going to get something. You're going to get to reduce your risk and most likely extend your life and you're going to make some doctors mad at you. <laughs> you're going to make some doctors want to slap me in the face like this. Oh, boy, that really hurt, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to do it again. Eric's like, can you do that again? Hey, Eric, want another double take? Want another one? Want another one, Eric? 
<laughs> oh, I had to go to left and right. That hurt, by the way. Hey, I'm a wild man. Anyway, you're going to make doctors mad at you because you're going to be reducing your need for medications. You're going to make the pharmaceuticals mad at you because you're going to reduce their grip on your life. And so, you know what? I like doctors. Does they matter? And we're going to get that call in one second, I promise. Oh, you passed the minute. I passed the minute. Caller. All right, fine. Caller. All right, we'll on. go back to the doctors after the call. Hello. Can you see that call? Hi. Caller. Hello, Caller. Hello, my name's Patty. Um, uh, <laughs> Hi, Al. Patty. Can you hear me? I can yes. hear you, Patty. Oh, okay. Um, well, Al, I love your enthusiasm, and I hope your show doesn't get canceled because I've been reading books of the positive thinking books that you talk about, and That's a great and thing. your enthusiasm is wonderful. But I want to ask you a question about or uh, Pastor Gordon about like being addicted to like sugar and oh. white flour. That's a hard thing for me to get off. Well, I I really encourage people to eat more brown rice, uh, um, stevia, which is a natural herb for a sweetener to uh, okay. use more brown things in place because some of the, um, the nutrients, the, the actual fiber sometimes is taken off of the rice, taken off of the, um, you know, your sugar. Um, they take the main part off and they make the molasses, but we should have natural um, whole sugar. But stevia is better for you Sometimes honey is, is good for you. And one thing that you, you want to try to do, um, and Annette had just mentioned that it was hard for her to have enough money. Right. Sometimes if you replace some of the meat with some beans, then you'll be able to buy some more of the fresh uh, fruits and vegetables. Right. And then uh, you can even, there's a recipe that I do sometime, even for myself in the congregation. And you take uh, kale and you wash it and you uh, drain the water off, and you put in some lemon, uh, some garlic cloves that you uh, put through your garlic press. You put um, some superfood in, in it with some olive oil. But you take, uh, put your gloves on, and you just, like you're kneading that a kale. Right. And that becomes a raw food that you can eat and it's very delicious. Right. So and people would just eat that, you know, instead right. of trying to. And there's a lot of things that we can do to well, make I, I, I enjoy greens. I enjoy greens a lot. Uh, but how long does it take to get this sugar addiction well, <laughs> or like um, fast food addiction out of your system? Well, you know what? I can, I can help you with that. I was watching the Dr. Furman show couple of times different shows that he had and he actually addresses in his programs mm -hmm, mm -hmm. food addictions and mm -hmm. how to wean yourself mm -hmm. off of them you mm -hmm. don't do it all once because that's not right. going to work you got to do it little by little so for example instead of um I, I give you a piece of advice let's say you like um candy right well replace that with uh maybe some raisins could help some berries can help uh some bananas can help uh, if you like your salt, you know, there's peanuts and stuff. And all these, by the way, have important nutrients and micronutrients that he speaks about also. That's why I recommend people really got to check out his website. And it's free to check out. Uh, he does have books and yada, yada, yada. But keep in mind that the program, if you just eventually get this program, and by the way, he doesn't even know it exists, so... I'm not getting anything from it. <laughs> he don't. He really don't. Uh, but this is about life changing. And well, he, he fine. does address your, your addictions uh, to Well, I'm, I'm going to definitely check that out, you know. Al. And um, I, I, I'm, I hope you're doing well on your um, mm -hmm. new resume. I'm working whatever on it. it is. Mm -hmm. But what I, liked, what I like about you is you, you told us just try to do one thing right, uh, every exactly. day and like anybody can do that right. and um and also your positive thinking and your your care for people i i love it out and just keep it up mm -hmm. and uh god bless all of you well god Many bless you god and, bless and you. i have to, i have to tell you before you go patty you will overcome 
these addictions, addictions right just do it slowly okay and, and you will overcome it and, and people out there who may not be calling in who whatever reason they're going to change your life today it changes today i want you to start doing these things today literally like even tonight when you want to have a snack you may not be able to get to the store you may mm -hmm. not be able to buy it right now money wise but I want you to write down what you can do when you have the money. Right. Okay, Tonight. that sounds like a good plan. All right, sounds good. I Thank love plans. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Take, Take care. care. Now, okay. now, I do want to point out that it is important. The reason why I talked about Fer Dr. Furman is mm -hmm. he does address the addictions. Because right. he, he knows what the real deal is. Mm -hmm. um, and his information that he gives out has been proven scientifically around the globe. Right. And he's been doing this with his patients for more than 25 years. Okay. And I can also say one other thing. I look at Dr. Oz and I look at Dr. Furman mm -hmm. and I notice something and they don't talk about it. Right. But these men are very conditioned in terms of like, um, they're thin mm -hmm. or, or, or average, but so they, they live what they say. They're not right. just saying to do it. Right. And, and same thing with me. I'm not out here telling you to do something I'm not willing to do. That's right. But I do need to close out this segment and the, the, the food with the cancer stuff right now and being healthy. So let me end it by saying, if you do not do these things, you're not going to hurt El Tricasso, Annette, or Pastor Gordon. You're going to hurt yourself and your family. So you need to at least look at these things online. Go to the library, get it free, pay for it, get it free, whatever. But if you just, just let's say just for the heck of it, you started eating some spinach leaves. By the way, I don't like greens, but I will eat raw spinach. Okay. I don't like greens, but I will eat broccoli. I don't like greens, but I will eat some lettuce. I don't like greens, but I'll eat some green peppers. Okay. So I'm getting there, but I have to admit, it has to be raw. It gets cooked. I'm like, forget about it. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, just one little thing. But get your weapons. Go to these web websites, read books, get audio books, get your weapons. I want you to start to think like you are a professional boxer or, or United States Marine. These are your weapons. And we are going to whack cancer. We are going to whack heart disease. Whack is an Italian slang if you were in the mob. I'm not in the mob, but we've all watched The Sopranos. We know what whack means. We're going to kill these diseases, and we're going to make a lot of doctors reduce these medicines. Because I just have to say, I have about eight minutes, I just have to say this. I'm tired of legal drug dealers being on my TV, my radio, in the newspapers, and everywhere else. And that's what it is, legal drug dealers. You'll hear, you'll hear, for example, a medication on TV and they'll say, side effects could cause death, diarrhea, constipation, da 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 loss of vision. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. Do you really want to take something that could cause death? But we're forced to if we don't take care of the business. So yeah, I may be being tough. I may be asking you to do something hard. Hey, I'm already doing it. You could ask Annette, I'm eating my spinach. I bought spinach last night. Hey, forget about it. But now it's time to decide to command your life. Command that it becomes better. And you have And that's to. something that you need to, to throw the Jesus part. I mean, the Yahshua and Yahweh yes. and Yahshua yes. in there. And then um, if you could do like a minute on that, because I got about six minutes left and I got to throw down Congress <laughs> and slap them upside the head. Well, Congress is in trouble. I don't think you're going to be able to throw down Congress, but. I got to throw down Congress. What? So give me at least five, three minutes to throw down Congress. I, I know <laughs> that, you know, all of us have been raised in some kind of way. Sometimes people don't believe at all. Sometimes people do believe. And yet we would encourage everyone to Listen, increase our faith, uh, realize that Father Yahweh has given us his way that he wants us to live. And if, he, if we read our word, listen, everybody's not going to read the same book. Right. But I know that just about everybody, if they're reading, read a book of the, of the scriptures. And if you read it, 
rest more, eat right, pray right. Listen, seven weeks, seven days without prayer makes us weak. And yet as we look and see what we need to do and um, eat those uh, raw vegetables, eat more green vegetables, your fruit, replace some of the meat uh, with beans. Listen, everybody's health will become much, much stronger. You know, when I think about working in the school system, when we were in uh, the elementary, the children would go out into the yard and play and run like crazy, and I'd be running with them. <laughs> then when they got in, ele uh, in middle school and uh, high school, they had to stay in. So that's not a good thing. They should still be allowed to go and play. Yes, no, they may skip school and leave, but they should still have an activity, be able to go in the gym or somewhere where they can still have an active life. Then the um, obesity would go away. So I'm just pray, you know, thankful that you know you're doing this program on cancer, and yet we have to learn how to be obedient because That's then right. some of this stuff will go away from us. That's right. You know? Well, uh, I have five minutes. I'm going to throw this out there. There's going to be less of El Tricasso in the next six months. I mean, I mean right. that by weight. All now, right. real quickly, I want to throw something down. Annette has a bunch of numbers to give to you. Uh, don't don't do it yet. I'm going to try to get those in. If not. I need you to call city council, ladies and gentlemen, because city council, mm -mm, I'm not too happy with you, city council. You know, you're not supposed to rock a boat because you could end up sinking a boat and you're just not supposed to get uppity. Well, I'm getting uppity and you know what, city council, I am not pleased with you. Here's what city council has done. They finally gave PCTV a new contract but they've taken, uh, apparently, and I could be wrong, there may be an update, but from my understanding, they have reduced, over the next seven years, the funding that PCTV is gonna get. So ladies and gentlemen, here's what you can expect. You can expect a reduction of services. You can, ex now I'm not saying that's gonna happen. I said you can expect, it could happen. <coughs> it could happen. So you might get less services, you might get producers who can no longer afford to produce their shows, and you might be relegated to one day not having PC, TV, cable, television, or Luther's great show, or Pastor Gordon's great show on the air at all. So what you need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is say to city council, we understand that you want to bring equality in the funding to the cable, cable barrow of communications, and I can live with that. I'm okay with that. But why don't you get more money from Verizon and more money from Comcast since you pretty much gave them a gravy train and barely got anything for it. But you don't take away the money that's gonna help your fellow Pittsburghers, by the way, the people that paid for your job. So go ahead and call uh, City Council. We're not gonna get the numbers. Try listening to a podcast and go to humanitymatters.org. I can give two numbers. Well, hurry up, make two numbers real quick because i got to say something I, about Congress. I have two numbers. Hey, real fast, you got like three, three I seconds. have two numbers for familiar go, 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 council go, 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 members. Go, 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 go. Corey O'Connor, District 5, 412-255-8965. That's 412-255-8965. And William Peduto. 412-255-2133. And Darlene Harris, hurry up and give Darlene 412-255-2133. And Darlene Harris, 412-255-2135. That's 412-255-2135. And before we go, I want you to call city council at least every two weeks until they restore the funding. Before we go, we got about a minute and a half, Congress decided to shut down the U.S. government. Now, I don't have time to let you know what time it is, but I'm doing a podcast on www.talkshoe.com, Humanity Matters Podcast, at 11.58 p.m. Thursday. You want to tune in. Congress, you might just have a little old tell talking to. But before we go, just know this, ladies and gentlemen, Congress caused over 800,000 people to lose their paycheck. But Congress by law, still gets paid. 
They shut you down, but they get their paycheck. That ain't right. So let's say, get rid of the grass and just call them a bunch of cons. Well, everybody, you know what's coming. Yeah, we eat, bless you. eat, eat healthy. And remember, they're you and, and humanity. humanity. And all, all forms, forms of life, life really, really does, does matter. matter. Yeah, we bless you. Please don't leave my future up to circumstance. Make sure I have enough fresh water to drink, clean air to breathe, and freedom to think. For myself and my future. Today I saw the future be. I'm 30 pairs of eyes, 30 young children trusting me with their lives. Assigned to my classroom by chance.